Musk said not one self-driving Tesla had ever crashed. By then, regulators already knew of eight. Elon Musk has long used his mighty Twitter megaphone to amplify the idea that Tesla's automated driving software isn't just safe. It's safer than anything a human driver can achieve. That campaign kicked into overdrive last fall when the electric car maker expanded its full self-driving beta program from a few thousand people to a fleet that now numbers more than 100,000. The $12,000 feature purportedly lets a Tesla drive itself on highways and neighborhood streets, changing lanes, making turns and obeying traffic signs and signals. As critics scolded Musk for testing experimental technology on public roads without trained safety drivers as backups, Santa Monica investment manager and vocal Tesla booster Ross Gerber was among the allies who sprang to his defense. There has not been one accident or injury since FSD beta launch, he tweeted in January. Not one, not a single one. To which Musk responded with a single word, correct. In fact, by that time dozens of drivers had already filed safety complaints with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration over incidents involving full self-driving, and at least eight of them involved crashes. The complaints are in the public domain, in a database on the NHTSA website. One driver reported FSD automatically jerked right toward a semi-truck before accelerating into a median post, causing a wreck. The car went into the wrong lane with FSD engaged and I was hit by another driver in the lane next to my car, another said. YouTube and Twitter are rife with videos that reveal FSD misbehavior, including a recent post that appears to show a Tesla steering itself into the path of an oncoming train. The driver yanks the steering wheel to avert a head-on crash. It's nearly impossible for anyone but Tesla to say how many FSD-related crashes, injuries or deaths have occurred, and HTSA is investigating several recent fatal crashes in which it may have been engaged. The agency recently ordered automakers to report serious crashes involving automated and semi-automated technology to the agency, but it has yet to release crash-by-crash -crash details to the public. A Tesla mystery, why didn't auto braking stop these crashes? While regulators investigate a spate of Tesla steering themselves into parked vehicles, Tesla owners have been reporting faulty collision avoidance systems. Robot car companies such as Cruise, Waymo, Argo and Zooks are equipped with over-the-air software that reports crashes to the company immediately. Tesla pioneered such software in passenger cars, but the company, which does not maintain a media relations office, did not respond to questions about whether it receives automated crash reports from cars running FSD. Carmakers without over-the-air software must rely on public reports and communications with drivers and service centers to judge whether an HTSA report is necessary. Attempts to reach Musk were also unsuccessful. Correct, Elon Musk January 16, 2022. Gerber said he was not aware of the crash reports in NHTSIS database when he posted his tweet, but believed the company would have known about any collisions. Due to the fact that Tesla records everything that happens, Tesla's aware of each incident, he said. He said it was possible that the drivers were at fault in the crashes, but he had not reviewed the reports himself. Accurate public statistics on automated car crashes don't exist because police officers who write up crash reports have only the driver's statements to go by. We're not experts on how to pull that kind of data, said Amber Davis, spokesperson for the California Highway Patrol. At the end of the day, we're asking for best recollections about how happened. Exactly what data a Tesla vehicle's automated driving system collects and transmits back to headquarters is known only to Tesla said Mahmoud Hikmet, head of research and development at autonomous shuttle company Omeo. He said Musk's definition of a crash or an accident might differ from how an insurance company or an average person might define it. NHTSA requires crash reports for fully or partly automated vehicles only if someone is injured, or an airbag is deployed, or a car must be towed away. The FSD crash reports were first unearthed by FSD critic Taylor Ogan, who runs Snow Bull Capital, a China-oriented hedge fund. The Times separately downloaded and evaluated the data to verify Ogan's findings. Musk said not one